G'day and welcome back to Ford Off-Road. In this video, I'm continuing on the patrol and we're gonna make some rock sliders. So first thing that I've gotta to do to make some sliders is make some mounts. So the Spear Engineering long arms have a mount that bolts on so you can just bolt the bottom of that. I've already cut the front mount out and it's gonna mount like that. Big washer through that hole and I'm gonna drill another hole there and then I'll just cut a slot in the pipe and weld that on there. And then once I've made it, I'll put another mount in the middle for a bit of extra strength. But for now, I'm just gonna make it with the two so it's easier. Uh, I've gotta put the tray back on because I'm gonna make the bottom of the slider connect to the headboard. Also, I've put the other dash cluster in, uh, which is out of a ZD30 patrol, which is what Killer Custom says you need to do so that the taco works properly. I do need to pull that back out again though because the car it's out of has ABS and an airbag and this has neither so those lights are stuck on so I need to pull it out pull those globes out <laughs> and uh, put it back on anyway I'm gonna get those mounts bolted on first put the tray on and then I'll start measuring for how I'm gonna do these sliders do not scratch it <laughs> Righto, I've got that one tacked there, and that one's just sitting there because I'm going to put some two crosses in here so that it's got some support. Because once I put that in there, same as like I said on the headboard in the other video, once I weld that there, it's going to be hard to put those cross bits in. So I'm just going to put two in there, and then this actual hole bit in the end is going to be plated in so that no sticks or anything post through because I've had that happen before. You build just a tube slider and the sticks jam in between them so I'm gonna chop those out and do that and then still debating whether or not to do some scrub rails that's why I've left that a bit longer I'm gonna cut it but I don't know yet if I'm gonna do scrub rails or not well this job just got a lot more annoying so this tool it's so good for notching pipe. There's no sparks or anything. Broken my blade on a Sunday. Can't just go and get another one on a Sunday. Put the blunt one back on and see if it works. Okay, so that's one side just like tacked together. It's not finished. I'm still gonna put, I'm gonna put some gussets in places and I'm gonna chop that off and cap it and think about whether I'm gonna do side rails. It's a pain in the ass that that blade snapped because I don't, oh, I suppose I could, but I didn't really wanna cut the headboard off next to the fresh paint using an angle grinder and having sparks and stuff going, but I suppose I could. Oh. Alright, we're going to put the flares on. I'm going to weld this piece to the top flush so that I can grind this edge down and it'll look even. And then I'm going to weld the flare flush to the tray so I can grind it down and that'll look even. That's not normally how I do it, but I want this one to sit. Like normally I just completely cover the top of the flare and then weld it underneath the tray. But I want this one to look like it's really high, so I want it to be the same height as the rest of it and then I'm gonna have to cut out the right pieces for that. Um, we've got the sliders and that sitting up top there so they're out of the way. 
I'm just going to tack this back piece in place. And I'm going to have to, I don't know if I'm going to put some pieces there or not yet, but anyway. Fold this on, I'll tack it on, tack it on there and see what it looks like. Never know, I might end up pulling it off and putting it back on the other way yet, but we'll give this a go. That's right, doors and guards are done. Bonnet is also done, but the bonnet's not going back on until I've got the windscreen in because you've got to put the windscreen in and then this panel on and then the bonnet on. At least that's the easiest way to do it. So bonnet's staying off for now. I'm just going to put the handles in the doors so that they can actually shut properly and stay shut. It looks sick. It looks awesome. It looks way better in the sun than it does in the shed. It really shines. It's good. Um, anyway, doors, uh, door handles in. Continue with the tray. Okay, I've got the handles on and the mirrors on, and I'm just putting the inside of the doors together. I've just realised that I've misplaced, and I've just spent half an hour looking for all the interior door wiring. I don't know where that is. And in the same box as that must be the bonnet catch, because I can't find that either. I've looked everywhere. I really hope I haven't thrown it out. <laughs> anyway. Put the interior door handles on, and the window winders, and then back to the tray. Righto. I've just had these pipe connectors turn up. So I'm going to put the slider back on. Weld that where it needs to be, or I chop the bottom of the slider so I can weld that in there where it needs to be. And pull the whole lot off and weld it. Or well, I'm going to weld a bit of it on the car, but obviously not, not the top bit because I don't want to damage the paint. So I put that in there, mark it, weld it, cut it, whatever, pull it off and do it again. The way that works is it's basically just two pieces and it interlocks, so it's always in the same spot. It looks professional as I reckon, it looks way better than just sliding a piece of pipe in. Sliders and then separate them. So this bit on top of the flare, I'm going to grind it back so it basically looks like it's just flat and kind of like part of the tray. So I've just got that, I just put a brace in there on that mount and I've just got a sheet laying across the, what's going to be the underneath so that it, the sticks can't come through. I've left in between, I was going to chop out separate bits but then I thought that when it's on the car because that's going to be, it's, it'll be like a bucket, it'll just collect mud and water and stuff so 
left little gap at the bottom instead of cutting out separate pieces so that water and stuff can drain out and it doesn't just collect mud when it's on the car. So we'll see how that works out and if it doesn't work out then I guess I'll chop them off. <laughs> Well, I've come back out after work and now I'm just going to make the spare tyre mount. Uh, I've been to the local steel joint and bent up some through mill for the mud guards, both this edge and that edge. Um, I'm also going to make some uh, tie down rails, but I probably won't do that tonight. Uh, one of the local blokes in town is going to actually lay and cut Ford off road into those pieces, so it'll say Ford off road down the side. So we'll get that done, see what it looks like, and put it on there. So basically, what I'm making now is the spare tyre holder, so I made this last night, didn't have a go for it up, but anyway. So that's going to get welded to the flush with the tray, so the alloy sheet's going to sit on top of that and I'll drill a hole in the alloy sheet, and then that's going to go through the spare tyre and screw in, trophy truck style. I've also put these little bits here. To kind of continue the headboard that's not welded in there yet it's just sitting there because i haven't decided if i actually want to have it there like from the side it looks like it's meant to be there but then like if you look along the side of the car because the flare kicks out it kind of looks like it's pokes out a bit i don't know i just haven't decided yet so that's just sitting there so i can look at it for a bit Right, now that, it's kind of more just for looks than a tie down rail. I'm not going to have any supports in the middle, but it is pretty thick steel if I do actually like rope stuff to it. But I mean, it's going to have a spare tire in there and probably two cargo boxes. So I'm not ever actually going to tie anything down. It's more just for looks, but I, don't know, I reckon it looks cool. Anyway, I'm just going to tack that on there. I'll do the other side, try getting the exact same spot, which is always hard to do on the second side. Try to get it the exact same. That's straight. Should learn that that falls off every single time I put it there. Okay, so that's how the spare wheel is going on. Now, the reason that I've got it more at the back than the front is because I'm going to have two space case boxes that come to like there for like recovery gear and stuff. And I thought if it was, I'd rather have the boxes up front because they might have heavy stuff in them, the tire at the back. But also, if there's two boxes on each side, I can just chuck stuff on the front without having to worry about tying down. So that's that. And I think it looks kind of cool. Like I said, I did want to tilt it like a trophy truck style, but I wasn't going to be able to see anything out of the back of the ute, so that's why I didn't do that. 
Anyway, what's next? Next thing I'm going to do is cut out these bits of metal that I went and bent. It's actually going to be quite difficult. I've already kind of marked that one. This is for the other side, but I'll show you this one anyway. I've got to cut out a piece out of that so that it'll sit up well, like that is and that pipe will come through so that it also is level with everything which is going to be quite difficult but right now I'm going to have some lunch finally got it the right shape at least this end of the right shape you see how much I've cut out considering the picture that I started with so it turns up to the edge there runs down there I'm going to have to bend that down a little bit more after I tack it in now I've got to get the bottom of the flare cut out in the right spot. Okay, that one fits on there really good. I'm just going to have to go to the steel place. I'm going to bend it there. I'm going to flatten this piece out and bend it there so that it kind of comes up and connects back to the top of the tray all right. I'm just going to trace that one onto the other one and then I'm going to do the front. Now, it's Good Friday, so I couldn't go to the steel place until Monday anyway. But I actually can't go until after Anzac Day weekend, because I'm actually in COVID isolation right now, and it's the first day of it. So, that's a week away. And also getting the letters cut out and the headboard like I talked about is also a week away before I could even drop the steel off. And it's probably even longer till I get it. So, for now I'm just going to chop the rest of that stuff out, and then... The tray's at a hold for a little while. And I'll keep going on with some other stuff at home. So I'll fast forwards two weeks to when I've done that and we'll be welding them on.